It's me. So recently I got a comment in a Facebook group that I am a part of called Propeller Head Reason, Propeller Head Reason Users. Sorry, I wanted to get that out clear. Uh, it's a really cool Facebook group. Um, everyone's really positive and, you know, everyone posts their songs and I post uh, my tutorials and, you know, we all try to answer each other's questions. It's really great. Propeller Head Reason Users, check it out. Um, but I got a comment from Vladimir Petrovich. Uh, and it was in re it was in regards to another video I made uh, called Side Chain EQ. Uh, you can check that one out. But uh, basically, he wanted to be able to take the effect and duplicate it um, over many tracks, and that would involve some more advanced CV routing. So it occurred to me when he asked that I haven't even showed you guys the Spider CV merger and splitter. Uh, that's really hard to say. Um, I haven't showed that to you at all, and I haven't showed you how you can route CV in general, so let me do that. Real quick before I get started, if you haven't had the chance yet, please, please, please go down and like this video if you like it, subscribe if you love it, uh, leave a comment, share this with a reason buddy, it really helps me out. Okay. Okay, so here we are in that same sidechain EQ session, um, which is actually, real quick, it's actually a dynamic EQ. Um, sidechain EQ is easier for people to understand in a thumbnail, so I went with that, but um, it's not technically correct. It's actually a dynamic EQ. Sidechain EQ would be EQing the signal going into the sidechain, but I think, I think you get what I was doing there. Anyway, um, so here we have that, that same session. Um, with one of these applied. Don't you be like that. I will love you forever. If you don't believe in me. If you have no idea what's happening, remember to check out that other video. Uh, Sidechain EQ is the name of the video. And there was a badge. Anyway, so Vladimir's question was pretty much how to duplicate this. So let's do that. Let's pretend like we have a couple of audio tracks. We'll duplicate them. So we have three audio tracks, right? And then we wanted to take basically this whole combinator. Which, if you re recall, is being affected. The, this rotary is being affected via CV by, via the... <laughs> Via CV, it's being affected by the modulation output coming out of the pulsar, which is on the vocal. Anyway, you should know that. You should have seen the other video. So to duplicate this, I will literally duplicate it. So we'll copy device and tracks. We'll come over here. Paste device and tracks. Boom. It copies the whole thing, I think. Here, we don't need this. Nope. We need to unroute it like so. Yeah, that's kind of annoying that it does it that way. Unroute it and get rid of the profit that it made because this had a profit attached here. Just so you know, that's a profit, see? So it duplicated the whole chain. So we're, we're going down to just the things we need, which is the EQ, ready to be affected, it's actually going to be affected by this rotary, which will be affected by the CV routing. But we're going to need two more of these. So I just duplicated them twice. Command D. Command D. Uh, and then let's just do some quick housekeeping and put them with their respective tracks. And this one goes here. Right? Okay, so the next thing we need to do is route the CV. All the settings are already correct for this track because I set it up once. Um, so the magic is going from the original and adding, boom, the spider CV, merger and splitter. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is take the original signal and split it. Boom, it's split. 
Now we're going to need to refeed this original one, and we only have two slots left. But never fear, hold Alt, Alt drag, make another one. They don't, it doesn't degrade the signal at all. And we can split to another one. So now we have one extra one here and three extra ones here. Um, there's also the one, if you see this, this one's inverted. So obviously it'll do the opposite of what, so it would turn those EQ curves down instead of turning them up. Handy in some cases, but it's there, yeah. Um, so now we route these up. If you hold it, if you hover, oh, actually that's not even the right spot. But just so you know, if you hover over it while it's closed, it'll open. Uh, it is rotary one that we want to affect on each one. So we can just route these up. F3 to get rid of that bad boy. Uh, rotary one, oops. Boom, that goes here. Sometimes I hate doing it this way, so you can do it this way. That is the chords track, I believe. Chords, no? Yeah, no? Oh, it's here. Split output two, boom. Just so you know, you can do it that way. So now they're all routed up. And behold, hey, yeah, don't you what's up with this one? Rotary one, split, oh, that's why. We plugged it into split B, silly me. <laughs> well, it's good that you saw that, so you can see that they're different. I could have plugged it into split A, I just didn't for some reason. So let's get that right. That one's going to the right place. This one's going to the right place. Boom, 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 boom. And now they all should be working. Cool. So that answers Vladimir's question. Thank you, Vladimir. Another thing um, to further answer Vladimir's question, um, you could do this, you could put it on multiple tracks. Let's say you have many synths and you have you know, a bunch of different things that you think will be sitting in the way of the, in this case, the vocal. Or you can just group those items and still slap one on it, just, just in case you didn't think of that. Um, you know, it's usually the synths or the guitars or if you have both, uh, that are sitting in the mix, you know, group those items and then apply one of these, save CPU as well, to that group. So to further answer your question. The other thing I wanted to point out, somebody else pointed out, I can't remember your name, but you were also in the Reason group. Um, thank you, whoever you are, uh, that this works great on vocals with the pulverizer. Um, and once again, um, go back to that video that I really highly recommend you watching that video to understand what's going on here, the sidechain EQ video. Go back to that and um, watch it if you don't know what I'm talking about here. But this pulverizer works great for vocals because of its slower attack. I think the fastest uh, attack setting on the on the pulverizer is 30 milliseconds, I think. So. In the case that you need faster attack times, let's say you're ducking drums for some reason, or I'm not sure, if you need faster attack times, you could use a compressor in place of the pulverizer and it has a CV out for its, just keep that in mind. M-Class compressor, compressor has faster attack times. So, but I typically use this for vocals and stuff like that, so this works fine. So, but just know that you could have a little bit. Yeah, you get it. Uh, there was something else I wanted to show you, but I have to, um, CV routing wise, there was something else I wanted to show you, but I have to switch to another. Yeah, you get it. Okay. So here we have another track that I was just working on uh, a little loop I made while I was in Vegas over the past week here. Let's take a listen. <laughs> So 
there's that, and I think there's another section. Nice. Okay, so let's say we wanted to take that ARP, and we wanted to, I've had a lot of people ask me, uh, you know, I've seen a lot of comments on where, where is the auto panner in Reason? Where is it? Um, well, there really isn't one. There are some uh, combinators that have that they made that are in the factory sound bank somewhere, but I haven't found them to be that usable. So I made one. So, and I'm gonna make it available to you guys because I'm dope. Uh, <laughs> so here it is, the pendulum. See, cause it goes. You get it. Anyway, the pendulum. So we drag it. There it is in all of its glory. Let's see if it routed correctly. I think it did. No, it didn't. That's not how we want that. So we'll actually delete it. We will add it again by holding shift. And then we will figure out how we're going to route this bad boy. Looks like we need to go out from the mixer into the pendulum. Boom. Boom. So if we listen to just the ARP. Actually, let's do this on the piano. That has too much going on. We will grab the pendulum, slap it on the piano. Oh, we should probably be playing the piano part. Okay. Stop that. Okay. So here we have the piano. Try. Now we add the pendulum. And it's panning side to side. Now here's how I would use it. So I use the rate free knob usually. Um, strange that it's two separate knobs. Usually it would be one rate knob and then you would hit the sync to sync, but I wasn't able to route it that way for some reason. And I'll show you how I routed it. Um, get out of there. Um, so here we are. Um, lost my train of thought. So the way I use it is I move the free knob to taste, but you could, if you want, you can sync it to the, your DAW. It's automatically set to quarter notes, I believe, but you can make that faster. This controls the depth of, like how wide. And shuffle is, it changes the timing a bit and you can really hear this when it's um, synced. I'm gonna turn the shuffle knob and you'll hear it kind of go out of time. It adds swing actually to your pan, which is cool. So for me, it's kind of like, it's either rate synced with some shuffle, or I mostly just use the free rate and the level. So to show you quickly how I routed it, it's really easy. It was pretty straightforward. Um, I needed a pan pot. So I added on the, on the channel, so I added a line mixer. The pan pot needed to be modulatable, so the line mixer is perfect. Uh, and then I needed a modulation source. Um, so the, here comes the pulsar. So the pulsar is going out to the pan CV in on the mixer. And bada bing, bada boom. The other magic is in this uh, program routing. So basically, it programs each one of these rotaries and buttons. Um, so free, 
turns this knob and synced when it's on also turns that knob strange but you get it i well, like i said i prefer to dial in it some free so i can get the timing with the song feel it and then control the level how wide so boom that is a free auto painter for you because i love you i love you uh the pendulum get it uh link in the description to my website become a member Download this and other things, the Quasar Wide Bass, the Quasar Delay Volume Version 2. The, there's, it's getting kind of ridiculous. And speaking to that, I have one more thing to show you. It's a quick little teaser uh, of a new device. So don't forget to get this one. But while you're playing with this, you can be thinking on this. So we'll get rid of that one. And we have the Ducker. Now this one is in its uh, alpha phase. <laughs> uh, I haven't made it all pretty and I haven't really f locked it in yet, but I think it's gonna go, go a little something like this. Uh, I got a lot of requests also for devices that are automatic duckers. So you don't want a side chain to a compressor. You'd rather use something like LFO tool um, or something like Nicky Romero's Kickstart, I think it's called. Well, I made my own version of that. Um, those are handy too because you can just slap them on tracks. They're not very CPU intensive. Neither is this. This and it's just quick ducking. It's just quick um, for the you know side chain pumping effect. So, if we were to put the ducker on the piano, and then this is bypass, just so you know. So there's no. Oh, I gotta wire it. Do. So in order to wire it, we're going out from the filter into this and boom. So it's wired. And it's ducking. It's a lot of ducking. It's not done yet, but you can see the possibilities. It's coming your way. I'm going to make it all pretty, finish it up, and make sure the settings are right. But automatic ducking using stock plugins. I wired it up. I'll show you how I did it on the next video. So make sure you subscribe, hit the bell so you don't miss this download. And uh, yeah, do all the internet stuff you're supposed to do. So yeah, that's coming your way soon. Uh, also, th just thank you in general for watching my videos. Uh, please do subscribe. Please do hit that notification bell and jump on over to my website in the members area. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, yeah, that's it. Uh, sneak peek of the Ducker. Go ahead and get yourself the pendulum, the auto panner I made. And Vladimir, shouts to you for the question. I hope I answered it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one.